What's going on guys? It's Garrett Fields and Nelson Financial Planning here. Where our team of certified financial fiduciaries focuses every day to help you change your life to a successful financial plan that provides you peace of mind in the future. In my previous video, we went over inflation. What it is, what causes it, and why it's bad for your money. So in today's video, as promised, I wanted to go over what damage inflation has done over the last 106 years and take a look at what the best hedge against inflation is. But before we get into that, I want to do a small recap for our new listeners. Inflation is when your money becomes less valuable. This means you have to spend more and more of your money to buy the same item. This can be caused by many things. One of the things is when you have a large amount of money pumped into the money supply in a short period of time. An example of this might be uh, $4 trillion worth of stimulus pumped into the economy in one single year. Now, let's take a look at some historical data on inflation. Everyone has heard people talk about how a movie ticket used to cost a dollar, or a gallon of gas used to be five cents. Well, here's a visual representation of what $100 used to be worth and what it's worth today because of inflation. You can see that back in 1913, $100 is worth $100. But the value in what you're able to buy has decreased over time. $100 back in 1913 is only worth about $4 in 2019. Here's another way of looking at it. Back in 1913, you could have bought $100 worth of stuff with $100. But by 1943, that same $100 would only buy you 57% of what you could have bought back in 1913. And in 2019, that same $100 would only get you about 4% of what you could have bought back in 1913. A third way of looking at it is you could have bought 25 times more stuff with the same $100 back in 1913 as compared to 2019. So what's the best hedge against inflation? Here's a chart that dates back to 1975 and shows all the main asset classes that people use to protect against inflation. Keep in mind, each of these asset classes have their own pros and cons. You can see inflation in blue at the bottom is close to gold, which does beat down inflation over time. Next, you have investment grade bonds. Over this chart's 45 year time period, investment grade bonds have been a good hedge against inflation. But with today's low interest rate environment, it's unsure how these bonds will compare in the future. Next, we have real estate. Real estate has been a good hedge against inflation and statistically stayed well ahead of inflation. However, real estate requires a large upfront investment and requires you to either manage the property or continue to put money into the property to upkeep it. Finally, we come to stocks. Stocks have been the best hedge against inflation. It has given higher returns over a long period of time. It requires minimal upkeep and it doesn't require a large upfront investment. Now, this doesn't mean stocks don't have their own drawbacks. The stock market can be volatile. It can be hard to stay invested. And the stock market can force emotions to run high. Everyone is different. And that's why the answer to protection against inflation might be different for everyone. That's why it's important to sit down with a professional, particularly one that's a fiduciary so that they have your best interest in mind and go over with them what your needs, wants, and goals are. And if you're having trouble finding fiduciary, just know everyone on the Nelson Financial Planning Team is a certified financial fiduciary. So feel free to slide into our DMs, email, or call us with any questions you might have, or set up a free consultation. We're always here to help. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and invest consistently.